Well, let's get into the meat of the program here. Let's go. Let's get uh, it. And it, it touches on our opener, which is the the Twitter ban of President Donald J. Trump. Smug, mm. what's your take here? Wow. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, from, from a selfish perspective, you know, he had so many bangers. There were so many great tweets from over the years. He always always had a take on everything and would go straight to Twitter, you know, whether it was Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson breaking up, (laughs) whether it was, you know, the Coca-Cola company is mad at me. It's okay. I'll keep drinking their garbage. Like so (laughs) many incredible tweets. I mean, he was the king of Twitter. It was much fun. So uh, like, I think his best stuff came pre-presidency, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, He was like, he was like pop culture's (laughs) color commentator. I, I told people a thousand times, it's like, I could live a thousand years and I will never come close to the caliber of, of Twitter trolling that he <laughs> put up there. You know, he was Michael Jordan. We all live in his shadow on Twitter. It was just dunk after dunk. And you could see for like a 10 year run that he had, <laughs> he had just unmatched monster stuff. numbers. The guy put up monster numbers, led in every statistical category on Twitter. I will say from my perspective, it became a little less funny when we were talking about Lynn Wood and Sidney <laughs> yeah. Powell instead yeah, true. of like Alec Baldwin and Coca-Cola. Yeah. But yeah, the, uh, the presidency, I preferred his tweets were like, there was a great one when when during the shutdown, he had uh, the championship team, from a college championship team at the White House. Yeah. And, and during the shutdown, he was like, out of my own pocket, oh, yeah. I've paid to bring, he said, massive amounts of fast food. And I was like, that's how you know it's a rager, man. And Someone's bringing a, massive a, amounts of fast food. Took the picture in front of all the Big Macs. I mean, that's iconic. <laughs> iconic. Or the or the one that he did with eating uh, the Mexican yeah, food in Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, he was like, the, 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 what does it say? The best taco salad is at Trump Tower. Yeah. I love the Hispanics. Thumbs up. Just, we will not- never get that content again, you know? No, no. And, and truly, as we noted in the open, the reply guys are hardest hit. Oh, like, what are they going to do now? What can you do now? He created, it was like, you know, when the iPhone came about, it created this like economic ecosystem of app developers and <laughs> his Twitter created this like economic environment, this, this ecosystem of reply guys. And now they're all toast. <laughs> it really, it really are. They're going to have to figure out what else to do. But I think, you know what, honestly, I think they've showed up in my mentions. <laughs> yeah. They're like, all right, well, let's go, let's go to homes. <laughs> I feel like smug. I feel like you and I have been inundated by these people who were previously just focused on on President Trump. The torch has been passed. Uh, it, you know? it, 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 it's incredible how many reply guys I've got. <laughs>